Hi everyone, Liz here. Thanks for stopping by. So today I'm going to do a quick kitting up of this lovely little raccoon. Um, it was sent to me as like a PR package from Victoria's Moon. Um, so I didn't pay for it. I did do an unboxing on this one. I think it was around about March time. Um, but I thought now it's a bit autumnally looking. That's my little raccoon popping out of a tree look, with some lovely golden brown leaves so i thought as the weather's changed a bit now we're not quite as hot well it's humid but it's not as sunny as it was then let's have a look at an autumn painting um it's 26 colors it's a double-sided tape and it's round and it's a true 30 by 40 canvas uh, i think you tend to find that any that are double-sided tape do tend to be more the actual size that the canvas says on it it tends to be the poured glue for whatever reason that tend to be a smaller canvas. Uh, I can only think possibly that poured glue is more expensive. I can imagine it's a more labour save, uh, labour intensive um, way of doing things because obviously you've got to put pour the glue onto the area and wait for it to dry. Whereas double sided tape, you're just literally getting like a big piece of double sided tape, sticking it down and move on to the next one. It just be a lot quicker. Anyway, if you know any different, let me know. <laughs> right, so it did come in little Ziploc bags, but at the moment I am finding I'm preferring working from tubs. Um, so yeah, I'm going to actually kit this one and put it into little tubs. So I've got my little 30 storage case. Now let me just check I've got this the right way up. Yes, I have. Um, yeah, I, I just always look now because the other day I opened one and they went everywhere. <laughs> I took the lid off and they all went everywhere. So I'm not going to do that in a hurry. Um, I've copied the little key code that came with it. It's not exactly an inventory sheet. It was just um, a list of all the different colours on the uh, this canvas. Gosh, my brain went then. And uh, my little Siren sticker maker there. So I've just popped it through there. Brilliant little machine, those. I mean, you could use, say, a double-sided tape or you could use a tape runner, but the Xyron does just to make it that little bit quicker. So we're going to get on and put these colours into these pots. Okay, and I've just resealed this. This one I actually didn't put um, a sticker on, which was very naughty of me. But I did put the inventory sheet in. Um, I am, as you've maybe seen from my other bagging ups and everything, getting into the habit now of putting a sticker onto my sheet, onto my canvas and one onto uh, my drills so that I can match them up. Okay, I don't need that now because any spares I will just put into the little netted pocket at the top there. Anything that won't go in the pot. And right, so let's start... Oh, I can see number one there, so we'll start at number one. Better get a tray, hadn't I? Don't want it to be spilling everywhere. I'm just throwing things around all over anyway. <laughs> okay, all right, let's get started then. So how's everybody doing? Hope um, you're doing okay. Oh, look, my first one, and I've just managed to throw them all over the place. Oh, Liz, what are you like? <laughs> just sums up uh, my week and um, after having uh, quite a disastrous week last week with clumsy things happening um, like the, the pressure washer hose decided to split and uh, now we've looked at it carefully it has split in several places so I'm afraid we're gonna have to get a new one which I don't like doing not very uh, ecologically friendly but yeah we're gonna have to do that because the hose has completely gone and when we looked at how much it would be to get a new hose for this one it's actually cheaper to buy a new one would you believe ridiculous but that just seems to be the way things are going let's have a look at the number 11 there's not many in this one so hopefully i won't spill these uh yeah the um, smoke alarm that um is still ongoing we have uh, bought a new one and uh just seems to have been pay out pay out pay out anyway and uh, that's not doing too badly, uh, other than the fact that the old one, now we've got a hole in the ceiling where it was because it was wired in. So we're not quite sure. Well, I mean, obviously we've got to cover it up, but we're not quite sure how we're going to do that yet. So, oh, 666. <laughs> Beautiful bright red colour, this one. 
and uh, yes, yeah, so it's uh, been my birthday this week, and uh, that was a bit of fun. I've got an absolutely gorgeous chocolate cookies and cream cake for my birthday, and there's none left. It was just so delicious, it would have been rude not to eat it all as fast as possible. But I did really, really enjoy it. So, thank you, Mum and Dad, for the beautiful birthday cake. It was delish. They did come to our house and share it with us as well, so that's okay. I haven't eaten all of it, I have shared it around. And uh, yes, yeah, so yesterday I was just cleaning up and pottering around, and I was listening to some uh, whip and chats while I was cleaning up had my uh, little earbuds in and bent over the toilet to just uh, clean the toilet and wee plop my earbud went straight down the toilet and right underneath the system so I had to get my hand right fortunately there was it was a clean toilet it wasn't a mucky toilet but oh if it had been it had just stayed there I just couldn't have done it Um, I had to get my hand right in the u-bend and it was pointless having gloves on because it would have just gone straight over the gloves anyway because I had to get my hand down. Yeah. Yuck. <laughs> so, another disaster. Well, not a disaster in the grand scheme of things. Uh, yeah, that says number six on it. That's because, look, I've put... Oh, Liz, what are you like? Because this says 666, six, six, I've put the drills in number six. Do. Oh no, not a good start. <laughs> I'm having one of those weeks. It's a good job I've not kitted up a load more, isn't it? I'm going to have to really watch what I'm doing now and concentrate and not be waffling quite so much. Oh dear. <laughs> Go on, get in your little devils. Oh dear me. So yeah, um... What else have we been doing? Oh yeah, the neighbours have moved out, so we've got new neighbours uh, coming across the road. And they're quite a, a youngish couple, well, younger than us anyway. And uh, yeah, they're absolutely gutting the house. Uh, and I know the guy that lived there, he was really particular and really precise. And he'd not long since had it all decorated and new kitchens and things. and. They've moved in and completely gutted it and ripped everything out. So it, uh, yeah, it must be heartbreaking. I suppose you, you're better off never seeing your house that you've left because, you know, you'll think, gosh, I spent all that money doing that house up and then somebody else has just taken it all out again. But I suppose it helps sell it because it looks like it's in good, well, it was in good condition, but, you know, it helps sell the house. And then um, our neighbours on the other, on the side of us they'd moved out yesterday as well um, they rented that house they uh, have uh, bought their own so they've moved out now as well so that's two really good neighbours that we've lost so let's hope we get some nice new neighbours back again I'm not I uh, can't see why we won't but uh, yeah we've been very very lucky with neighbours we've got some really good neighbours around us uh, uh, the neighbours at the other side of us um, have got their new fence more or less done now. Uh, Millie decided, oh, I think I told you, and Millie decided to go and have a look around their house. So. Yeah, it's all good. I'll leave that one to the last. That one's number four. Getting through these. It is more difficult actually pouring them into these pots out of little zip seal bags uh, than it is pouring them out of the little. Uh, containers which is strange I suppose it's because oh, the neck's wider and harder to control get in there right that's that one put away there having to try and be quick today because uh, hubby's uh, not brilliant at the moment so I don't want to leave him alone too long it's Let's escape there. Look, let's just see if we can get that one back in that pot. Yeah. Full time carer. But I don't mind. We've been having a, a bit of a laugh as well. Uh, hopefully, we've got the new jet wash coming today. So 
we'll see how that goes get the rest of that done trying to get a few jobs done before the bad weather really does set in so now it's only well, august now goodness me and it's yorkshire day today and i'm a yorkshire girl yorkshire lass so, yeah, we celebrate yorkshire all things yorkshire we should be having yorkshire puddings um, for dinner and for our meal but uh, we're actually having shepherd's pie today i think something a bit warmer it is a little bit humid and sticky not as much as it has been but uh, definitely a lot cooler now so we were out yesterday and it's definitely coming in cooler okay that's number 20 that's another one just escaped this is going to be the nice leaf colour around the little raccoon i don't like raccoons they are funny i've been watching some uh, little raccoon videos on youtube <laughs> they're uh, real crafty uh, and cute little critters aren't they certainly uh, know how to get food and know what they're doing okay that's number 20 nice little baggies these i don't think the labels will come off no but i might be able to use them for something else number eight 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 do this way around don't, don't ask me why i do mining like snakes i've no idea it just seems to be the way my brain works all over the place <laughs> oh dear okay this will go in there that's good those kitted up. Oops. Another escapee. Seems to be lots of escapees today. Either that or I'm being really, really clumsy. <laughs> I'm not quite sure which. Hey, number seven. That one's there. So I've got Millie asleep on the bed behind me. She seems to have uh, made that her spot now. To uh, Instead of being on my feet while I'm doing uh, my little videos. <clears throat> Excuse me. She's uh, decided she's got a bird's eye view. She's sort of nearly level with the desk while she's laid on the bed so she can see exactly what's going on. Make sure that all this crinkling isn't dog treats. Okay, let's get this one in here. Oops, yeah, we took her to uh, Pets at Home, which is our big sort of chain store for uh, animals in the UK and uh, she likes to go and see the bunnies and there were some bunnies out yesterday so she had a real good sit she just sits and watches and she sits on the bottom and watches the bunnies she didn't bark or snap or anything at them and obviously they're in the shop so they're quite used to seeing animals and they're just not bothered um, and they all just sat and watched her back really but there was three different puppies in there so she had a good uh, a sniff and a good play with the puppies uh, there's quite a bit of lead tangling going on because they all wanted to run around and play, which is quite funny. I do uh, love puppies. I get real broody when I see puppies. But, oh, there were some really cute ones. One of them was getting its first little harness and uh, it was strutting its stuff, looking really proud, all dressed up. And that's not what Millie does. Millie hates being dressed up. She did have a harness for a while, but you'd think when you went to a be putting it on her you were trying to chop her head off the way she just used to put her head right down and look really really miserable so she's back to just a collar now but we have a nice softish collar you know because we don't want to pull but we do let her off her lead as much as possible so she can have a good run uh, i'm hoping our park runs uh, dog runs are going to start again soon um, before the pandemic and before hubby was poorly I used to go and meet up with a lot of uh, dog people in our local park and we just used to go on like a really big walk right around the whole of the park and let the dogs off the leads and there's a big lake in the middle and all the gun dogs, the Labradors and the Golden Retrievers and things would all go in the lake and uh, retrieve balls and things. Millie used to try and get in with them um, but I don't really want her swimming out because Scotties, I think I've mentioned, are top heavy. Um, and I mean she's a good swimmer she does like swimming and she will go in water but uh, I didn't want her going too far out just in case so she tended to stay on the edge a bit more 
but she just ran and ran and ran and played with all these dogs. It was just, it's lovely to watch. Um, just seeing them run free a bit, just have a bit of freedom. But with COVID, we've not been able to do that quite so much. I say we've probably been poorly. Um, he was seven months in hospital in 2019. So we sort of lost seven months that year. And then 2020 was COVID. So, yeah, it's uh, not been a very social time for us, shall we say. It's 25, so that was the 24th. But hopefully we're getting back to it. Into here, I'm going to spill this. Just tip that too far that way. Get these tipped. Oops, let's get these in there. And I've just realised I've forgotten to turn the washing machine on. I've put the washing in the washing machine a couple of hours ago and I've forgotten to turn it on. I'm just thinking, why is the washing machine not spinning? And it's because I came in to get another. I suddenly thought, oh, I'll put that towel in with it. It's not quite a full load. <laughs> to get it got distracted by something and uh yes yeah, so i've not put the washing on so i'll have to go and do that in a second hey dear there's always something to do but diamond painting comes top i like the diamond painting best right let's get that one oops that lid don't want to go on properly Fourteen. There's not many of these. Quite a few smaller colours. Sounds like there's a delivery van. Like last time, I said that it was for us. So I'll have to see whether it's for us or not. If I suddenly have to disappear, you have to excuse me. Yeah, sat there. Said, oh, somebody's having a delivery. <laughs> it was us. <laughs> Number thirteen. Oh in there. Let's just tip these all over the place, Liz. Let's just tip them all out. Oh dear. That's trying to do them quickly in case the delivery's for us. <laughs> oh dear. More haste. Less speed. I think that's the same. Yeah. <laughs> just clumsy, I think, really. Top of the shop number 26. We've nearly finished. We've nearly done all these. And I'll have to go and make uh, hubby some lunch, see what he's wanting. Seems to be really into bacon, eggs and tomato at the moment. So we're going through lots of different uh, eggs and all sorts of things. We did a bit of baking earlier in the week. That was quite nice. Good. Jam tarts and lemon curds. Hubby has really cold hands, so he's good at doing pastry. We like pastry. So that was something to cheer him up a bit, getting him uh, doing a bit of his baking. He does like baking. I did um, cookery at school and I did a cookery. I passed my cookery exams and a cookery O level. But oh dear me, I don't like doing it now. It's something I do and I can do. I say I've passed my exams, but it's not something I enjoy. Um, I think cooking, baking is a necessary evil. <laughs> but we are trying to be a lot healthier now. We don't uh, have hardly any ready meals since we're you know not at work anymore. And you've got the time more to time more to spend on cooking and preparing stuff. So. Right, have we got all these all filled? That one will just go in the bag and it's already got number two on it there, look. So I don't like to write a bag out for that one. It's got one. Yep, just double check. I've got all my colours. Yep. I know one I did the other week. Um, I sat down and there was two colours missing. And then I suddenly realised I'd found some little packets. Um, and I didn't know which kit they came from. They were... Um, little baggies like these but they didn't have a kit number on like these haven't got a kit number on and i didn't know where they'd come from so i've just put them out of the way until i found them and uh, yes yeah, so they finally got reunited so everything comes around eventually i'm trying to do some of my older kits as well at the moment because uh, i think they deserve to be done but i do like this one 
so yeah so that one's all now kitted up it this one's all now kitted up and ready to go we'll put the little key code in there with those we'll zip that up and now then am i going to recover this or shall i just use this i think i'll just use this and i've just cut this down so that i get my craft knife out um, I'm not doing this to an exact size or um, exact. I'm just going to sort of do it in half and then do it in half again because I do tend to do quite big pieces and then I can just move them as I do them to line up with the canvas underneath. So I'm just going to cut just through the top cover. My ruler's not very long, so try and keep this straight. You can just see, just cut through the top cover there, not through the canvas. So shall I do this into three or shall I do it into four? No, I'll do it into four, I think. Yeah, because they're quite... I do tend to do quite a bit when I'm doing them. I can always just uh, put the cover back on as well, just make sure it's cut through. Yeah, yeah if you use your cover minders... Um, when you're using your um, plastic cover sheets and you pull it back and you use your cover minder, you can actually use your cover minder if you've got drills on a section and it's starting to come up because you've got drills there. If you just put your cover minder, say, in the middle or a part where um, there isn't any drills, put your magnet underneath and put your little cover minder on the top, then it does just keep that in place and keep the dust off the place that you're still working on, even if you've not managed to complete that little section. So where's that? That's there. So let's just go about there. That'll do. So it's just for me. I'm not doing it uh, for anything else or for a challenge or anything. I am just doing it so that I'm not having to use my little cover sheets. So what shall we do? Where's about halfway? That's about halfway. So say so my ruler's not brilliantly long it is only 30 centimeters so try and keep my lines as straight as possible again it doesn't really matter and then we'll just do that in half again so i think we've maybe done it into about 12 have we i don't know but anyway it doesn't matter i'll just take one little section off at a time and just do that section and then move on to the next it is the easiest way to do it it's the best way of not missing rules as well um on smaller paintings what i tend to do is um just do it all as one um and then i spend sort of an hour after i've finished dotting around looking for the ones that i've missed so the easiest way to do it is doing it this way and then you can easily spot one you've missed and just move onto the next section when you're done so that's all so what, what, one two four six eight ten twelve oh, 14 16 i've got this into so that's fine and um, if i did one day that'd be 16 days some days i'll do more okay well that's all kitted up and done and ready to go so thank you very much for watching i'll just pop that um just pop that away so yeah thank you very much for watching thanks for stopping by and seeing this if you've enjoyed the little chat and seeing this being kitted up then if you give me a like it just helps me out with youtube and if you want to pop back and see when this is finished if you press the subscribe button down in this corner you'll get notified uh, when my next videos come up and it may be this one that i've completed so thanks for stopping by see you all again soon bye for now